Hey guys, one of the questions that I get asked quite a bit is what knots I use uh, to tie my leader directly to my fly. Um, in this case, my fly happens to be a laser legal. It's one of my favorite color combos. Um, but in order to show you the knot itself, I'm gonna use some 15 pound amnesia, which of course is way too large and I would never use uh, chartreuse. But for this video, it's easy to, to show up on the black background. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by creating a overhand knot. So just a, a granny knot. So there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the point of the leader material up through the bottom of the fly itself. Just getting everything into position. And next I'm gonna take the tag end and I'm gonna go right through the granny knot. And what you'll see there is that this gap, that section right here is what will actually become your loop itself. And in order to help get everything into position, I'm going to pinch to the left and I'm going to grab to the right of the granny knot and I'm going to pull tight. It just cinches that granny knot down. You can see it gets nice and small there, which is perfect. And now when I grab that tag end and I pull it and I let go, it stays in position. If it's too small, I can grab a hold of the leader end and I can pull back on it. And you can see I can make that loop larger or smaller by grabbing either the tag or the leader end. So the loop is about the size that I like it. I like it to be about an eighth of an inch in length itself. I'm gonna grab right a hold of where that granny knot is. Now I have my tag end right here, and I'm gonna go up and over the leader. So I'm gonna create a space here, and I'm gonna go up and over and through that hole once, and I'm gonna go back through there twice. So I've created the loop. I'm basically doing a double granny here, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back towards the fly. So in my right hand, I've got the leader in my left hand. I'm pulling back towards the fly, maintaining the same size of the loop itself. And typically I'd, uh, you know, spit on that today. I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to pull tight with the leader end and watch how nice that cinches down. See how nice and tight that is. The size, you get that nice, beautiful loop in there. And then it's very easy to come in, to trim it off nice and tight. And you have a very nice way to articulate your fly. Um, you can see how nice and compact that loop is. It helps to drop your fly quickly. It helps to aid with um, manipulation and you know ultimately the articulation of your fly itself. So very simple loop knot, hope that helps you out. See ya.